June is Black Music Month, where we recognize the Black artists who achieved unimaginable heights, pioneered new genres, and gave us a never-ending soundtrack for cookouts. This year, we celebrate the musicians with outstanding co accomplishments and who are truly the best of the best. I am joined by my fellow editor and assistant from another Mr. Kayla, who can talk more about Black Music Month on Xfinity. Kayla, what can you tell us? What can't I tell you, Quam? We have a lot going on for Black Music Month. We are celebrating the best of the best. That is our theme this year. We're celebrating the trailblazers, the record breakers, and everybody who is unbeatable, unmatched in the music industry. I want to give you guys a sneak peek because you know we're a day early for Black Music Month, but I want to give you a sneak peek so you guys are special, okay? So for, first of all, <laughs> we have a free preview um, for Quest TV. This will be from June 13th to the 19th. So you guys still have a couple of weeks to wait for that, but we will have Quest TV available for free that entire week. Watch all your music documentaries and concerts and what have you um, from Quest TV from the 13th to the 19th. We'll also have a ton of free music movies that you can watch through Black Experience like Beats, Rhymes and Life, Thunder Soul, Rhyme and Reason, etc. So you can watch all the free movies that your heart desires. We also have Rotten Tomatoes 100% certified fresh movie list. I know a lot of times we look through um, our movie collections and we're like, this has a tipped over popcorn bucket. Why would I want to watch that? Look, I made it easy for you. I, I picked out the best music movies out there so it can make it a lot easier for you guys to find the best movies. And thanks to our editor, Quam, we have a row of best selling albums. And we also have a few rows of Guinness World Record holders. Now, these may be surprising to some, maybe not to others. Um, I had a feeling Twista was a fast strapper alive, um, but I did not know about a lot of these until I looked into it. So feel free to go in there and explore that. And we also have my editor picks for top five artists by decade. I don't want anybody to be offended. If you don't see an artist in here, listen, these are these are the editor picks. These are my picks for top five, okay? From the 60s all the way to the 2010s. Um, I wanna give you a sneak peek, but I'll, I think I'll let you guys sit sit on that and wait on that and see uh, if you agree with my uh, choices or not. And we have a few more special rows under there, but I'll leave it to June 1st for you to go in there, say Black Experience into your voice remote and find out for yourself what those are. That's awesome, Kayla. Uh, yeah, I, for the, the trivia row, there's like so much stuff I, that I didn't know. Uh, but one thing I, I don't think I did see in that row is a trivia question uh, that I want to ask you. Uh-oh. Who is, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm full of surprises today. Uh, who is the youngest artist do you ever have a number one hit song on the Billboard Hot 100? Oh, is it? No, uh, no pressure to get it right. No wait. pressure to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know, but I don't want to be wrong. No Googling either. No Googling either. I see, Googling. I see what you're trying to do up there. No, no. Hands free. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 um. Is it somebody who is old now well <laughs> yes they they're they're very much old now <laughs> i give you a five second countdown four okay okay three two stevie wonder one. stevie wonder stevie wonder <laughs> yes it is stevie wonder wow that was oh a incredible God. guess <laughs> do you oh know what song God. though oh no i do not know <laughs> <laughs> clearly you just guess of it's a, it was actually fingertips. He was 13 years old in 1963. Um, yeah, Stevie Wonder, he's like a musical genius. Uh, and just from he a young a age, he, he was already showing his genius by writing hit songs and topping the charts. Uh, it's pretty incredible. And I think what that really highlights is like how significant black music has been within the, in our in our culture and then this overall within America. There's been so many feats, so many just, uh, you know, just genres pioneered by black artists. And I, I think this is a perfect time for us to celebrate. I think so too. He is definitely a legend. He's he's in that Guinness World Records, but not for that one. Um, so he needs to really be in there twice, twice over for that. <laughs> Honestly, you probably, you. you probably could make an entire row of just Stevie Stevie facts. You you could you could have a Stevie fest. You really could. 
And look, I'll put you on the spot since you put me on the spot, sir. Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as top five, I talked about my top five from the 60s to the 2010s. Do you have any favorites or top fives for the 2020s so far? Oh my, Kayla, it's only it's only been two years. Listen, it's only been two it, years. We are, <laughs> we, people are coming out the woodworks, though. We already know who's who's probably oh going <laughs> to kill okay, them. Okay, so if, if I if I had to if I had to project eight years in the in the future, <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say Drake because I think Drake still makes you know significant music where uh, it sells really well, and he's just that guy. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, I think, because I think he has an, at least two more albums within this decade, even though he releases on like a five year cycle now. Um, and he already just dropped one album that was like, I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, that's two. Oh my God, who else? Tierra Whack, represent from Philly. Uh, I think she's been bubbling up and I think she has the potential to become a really big artist. And I don't want to say our generation of Missy, but I think she uh -oh, can be, or not be our careful. generation, but this generation. Be careful, Quan. I know, I, I don't want to put that pressure <laughs> on her. I don't want to put that pressure on her, but she is so she is so great. She is so great, and her music is so just unique that I think that she really has the possibility to be one of these one of this uh, decade's you know, defining artists. Um, okay. Oh my Lizzo. god, I got two more. Um, who else? Lizzo's who else? doing a pretty great job so far in uh, the twenty. Are you years. trying to Are you trying to influence my decision? I mean, <laughs> we can do a change my mind segment right now. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I want to deny. I like her new song. I like her new song about okay. damn time. <laughs> um, it's been kind of been the running joke for today. <laughs> so let's throw Lizzo in there, and then let's say Lil Nas X. You know, I think Lil Nas X was off to a really hot start in 2020 or 2021. Um, and he's already just been just on fire. You know, I think with Old Town Road coming out and that being another uh trivia question you know him having the longest running song on the uh, hot 100 for number one um that's a great way to start your career and a lot of people thought he was going to be a one-hit wonder and i think with his new his, his past album he really showed he actually has like some staying power and he's a great personality you know you just want to root for the guy so i think Lil Nas x will really show in this decade that he's going to be one of the artists to really like, look out for and be here for the long haul so those are my top five with a little help from you <laughs> Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Tara Weck, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar. I love it. I also see Lotto coming up a little bit. So we'll we'll see uh, what she has coming down the pipeline. But only one artist that you mentioned was actually in my 2010s, which was Drake. I think he's just, he could just go on forever and ever and ever, I feel like. <laughs> and that's the thing. I think he I think he has another 10-year run in him. You know, I, I, I think he is, he's able to make music that resonates with a lot of different generations and he's able to you know stay young even though uh he's been in the game for so long so very I think, true i think very true i agree well if you want to if you at home want to check out our black music month collection to see more just say black experience into your xfinity voice remote